DNA ligation. 1. Take restriction digested and enzyme deactivated plasmid vector and DNA insert, anartic phosphatase, anartic phosphatase buffer, DNA ligase, and ligase buffer out of negative 20 degrees Celsius freezer and place on ice. 2. Set water bath to 37 degrees Celsius. 3. DNA ligations are typically carried out using a 1 to 3 or 1 to 4 ratio of DNA backbone vector to insert. This usually involves using approximately 20 to 200 nanograms of vector and a 3 to 4 fold molar excess of insert DNA. It is also recommended to set up two control ligations, A, vector plus insert, no ligase, which controls for any uncut plasmid that may be in the solutions, and B, vector only, plus ligase, to control for relegation of the vector. Controls are not shown in the video. 4. Aliquot the prepared amount of vector for the desired ligation ratio into an Eppendorf tube and also prepare Eppendorf tubes for the two control reactions. For example, we will be using 200 nanograms of DNA. To figure out the volume, divide 200 by the concentration of the plasmid to obtain the volume in microliters. 5. To dephosphorylate the vector, we will use the enzyme antarctic phosphatase, which will prevent the vector from recirculating without any insert. To do this, we will add to the vector tube 5 microliters of 10x antarctic phosphatase buffer, 4 microliters of water, and 1 microliter of antarctic phosphatase. 6. Place the tube, along with the two prepared control tubes, containing vector only at this point, no insert or ligase, into the 37 degrees Celsius water bath for 30 to 60 minutes. Afterward, place the tubes in a heating block set to 65 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. 7. Add the appropriate amounts of insert DNA and the dephosphorylated vector to a new tube. Label the rest of each tube as unligated and store at negative 20 degrees Celsius. To the insert plus vector mix, add the quick ligase buffer and the quick ligase. Ligase must be kept on ice. Let this sit at room temperature for 5 to 15 minutes. This construction product can now be used for bacterial transformation. Note, be sure to consult the specific product manual guidelines for the phosphatase and ligase enzymes you're using. Some ligations are done at room temperature or at 4 degrees Celsius, for example, for varying periods of time.